you know, it's funny because I just mentioned since his early days at Saturday Night Live, I still remember I worked at Saturday Night Live the yes. day that you arrived. You were wearing, I remember you, I, visual, I, I, I very viscerally remember you walking through the door and saying, hi, I'm Mike Myers, and shaking my hand, and you were wearing a leather jacket, and I remember thinking, this guy's going places. Well, I'm glad you thought that. At the <laughs> yeah, time. yeah. I thought I was going to get fired every week. So. Is that true? Oh, really? Yeah, yeah. But uh, you were extremely nice to me, and I always, uh, I always appreciated that. And uh, the first day, you made me feel very comfortable and at home. And then uh, you put this note in my uh, my desk. When did I leave you this note, which, by the uh, way? Because this is true. People are going to think this is, this a, is absolutely a bit. True. I actually wrote this note, and and I, I left this for you. Yeah, which I thought was very, very nice. But I, I wasn't sure what was going at first, and I was right, a little right, afraid because right. I was just, you know, just got off the boat from Toronto, and I didn't know what was going on. But yeah, well, you shouldn't have taken a boat. Anyway, go well, ahead. Now, now you tell <laughs> now me. Now you tell I me. I went yeah, all the way yeah. around the whole uh, right, Suez right. Canal. <laughs> but uh, Let's show people this note. Yeah, I said, still don't know why I did this. It says, Mike, I'm going to destroy you. <laughs> I'm not sure how, I'm not sure when, but I will destroy you. And the best part is that no one will believe I had anything to do with it. <laughs> Yours, Tony. I actually remember. Yes. <laughs> I've had this in my house for six years on the bulletin board. Yeah, I actually remembered at the time thinking it's really funny for someone to write a note like that and say, and no one will ever know it was me. Signed, yes. Conan. <laughs> <laughs> did that, but that, did, that, that didn't freak you out at the time, did no, it? No, 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 but uh, whenever you, you know, I, I put you in sketches and stuff so as that not to be destroyed by That's you. right. Well, it actually worked because whenever you would write a sketch, I remember you would always try and figure out a way, you to know, to work Conan into it. Yeah, That's you know, I just, originally it was, uh, it was Wayne and Conan. Mm -hmm. <laughs> but then I thought, you know what? <laughs> Oh. I think Wayne and Garth, and I think it should be Dana. Yeah, but, uh, yeah. And we but fought bitterly about that, I remember. It was yeah. a bitter, bitter time, <laughs> yes. Yeah, yeah. But I feel better now. Yeah. You did put me in, uh, you put me in Handsome Man. Yes, I, I, I believe we have a clip of that. Yeah, this is me a long time ago. Let's take a look at this. <laughs> I believe this gentleman has something to say. <laughs> well, I just completed your course. And I never dreamed I could be this handsome. Thanks, Lang. You're handsome. Give that man a round of applause. You know what kills me about that? They showed that to me this morning, and I was like, my head is 40 pounds heavier today than it was in what that, that's 1990 or 1989, I think, something like that. Yeah, well, you had a pretty big noggin then, I remember. <laughs> yeah, always nice. Kind of a... Now, we, um, we actually, uh, Turnabout is, is, is fair play. We mm -hmm. actually have a clip of some of your early work. Uh, when you were quite a young lad. Oh, right. Uh, let's, uh, let's, let's roll this, please. I think this is only fair. Let's take a look. Hi, Joey. Hi, Jack. Want some gum? Candy flavor? Oh, it's Wrigley's. Yeah. Well, you've graduated to the big stick. Wrigley's Spearmint. Spearmint straight. Yeah, straight, Jack. Uh, the name's Ned, Joey. Yeah, real straight. Riggies, riggies, riggies. Ah, you rascal! <laughs> how old? First of all, how old? How old are you in that commercial? I'm about eight. Mm -hmm. uh, no, no, I think uh, about eleven. I'm not sure actually. Right, right. But the horrible thing is, is try like, you know, being in a public school in the suburbs of Toronto and uh, just have the whole school turn to you and go, "Hey, you graduated to the big stick." <laughs> It's just the worst thing in the world. Hey, Joey. But I always found it slightly disturbing, slightly, um, slightly homoerotic, I thought. That, <laughs> I'm not going to lie to you. It just looks a little... It looks a little dicey there, yeah. A little, uh, yeah. And there, there are probably still parts of Canada where no matter what else you achieve, and you've achieved a lot, they're still going to hold you accountable for that commercial. Yeah, there's some legislation in Canada <laughs> pending. <laughs> You'll get it all. I have to go to jail or something. Right, but, uh, right. Now, speaking of things that haunt you, Austin Powers, big success. Unfortunately, such a big success that it inspires uh, porno movies. Yes. And, um... Yeah, what happens is, it, like, they have a movie, and then, you know, if it does okay, they make a porno version of it. And, yeah, yeah. And when you're, when you're sitting there writing Austin Powers, it's like, oh, yeah, yeah, James Bond in the 60s and stuff right, like right, that. Right. I never think to cut cut to later that there's a, a this porno is version Austin of Austin Prowler which actually uh, is is a is <laughs> like I can't show you the back of the box I yes. will enjoy that yes 
Do you know what's tuned so is tuned is Cinemax right now. We're showing you the back of the box. Um, but Austin Prowler, have you have you checked this movie out? I saw it actually. Yeah. I didn't I didn't pay to go see it. It was sent to me by a friend. But uh, it's uh, what's so interesting is that it's like you know lines from the movie. So there's like a you know a guy playing Austin Powers, and it's like yeah baby, and then it's like. You know, we got to save the world, but first, and then it's just that kind of slap-ass porn sex. It's like, ah, ah, ah. and then they cut to <laughs> Dr. Evil, and Dr. Evil's like, you know, I've got myself a new laser, but first, and then slap that, <laughs> like this. You know, it's so weird. And, it, and it's, so, it's so wonderfully low rent, too, because yeah. instead of him being uh, cryogenically frozen and coming out of like a chamber, right. he comes out of a fridge that's being spray painted red. <laughs> One of those fridges that you normally right. take the doors right. off. Right. But uh, so, you know, it's a little bit of smoke, and he comes out, and, and uh, you should. Show a clip, for God's sakes. Do you want to show it? Yeah. We weren't going to show a clip, but then Mike sh showed up and said, you must show oh, a clip. you must so show a clip of this. You throw to it. Say, enjoy this now, this clip from uh, Austin I'm gonna, Prowler. I'm going to set up my clip. <laughs> See, at this point in the flick. Because it's a complicated plot. It's a complicated porno. plot. Let's just roll this clip of Austin Prowler. Austin Prowler was quite the ladies' man. I often thought with this, Willie. We've got to get his mojo working. Anybody have any ideas? I think I can help. I know CPR. <laughs> that was originally in Austin Powers. That's just so weird. But uh, evidently the censors said no. Yeah. There's a, there's a Wayne's World uh, porno as well, is that yeah, right? Yeah, it's called Zane's World. And so that they sit. So lame. I know, and they sit there and they go, Zane's World, Zane's World. Okay, we're going to do a show, but first, <laughs> <laughs> it's all just slap-ass porn sex. That's so romantic. It is. It, it actually is. A, it's it's a little disgusting because yeah. uh, genitals aren't good looking, and it's just a lot of like. I don't oh. know where you've been, but. Uh... No, it's funky. I mean, that's yeah, a yeah. no kidding hardcore yeah. offering. So I don't endorse children to go out and buy that, please. Yeah, yeah. The funny, <laughs> See the fun, the funny thing is that we find out that this thing existed, and so we actually have a whole research department. We said, someone, you know, go out and buy uh, Austin Prowler so that we can show it. And they spent like a whole day looking, and they couldn't find it anywhere. And then someone who works on the staff was like, oh, I got it. <laughs> <laughs> Push eject on their VCR. <laughs> it's right here. Huh?